Hey, what's up everybody? Holmes here and welcome back to more Bloodborne. And today we're going to be taking on a route guide. And this route is going to be for the Kinghurst Castle area. And the first thing you want to do is you want to come over towards the Forbidden Woods area. Now, the reason for this is because we need to pick up a special item. So we can go to the optional area. Because the Kinghurst Castle is an optional area. At first I thought it was an... It was one of the main areas, but it's not. Oh god, god. But once you get to this area, you just want to um, keep left. Uh, and when you keep left, it's going to take you to uh, an alternative route. Because if you keep going straight, like from the right side, you're going to end up where you have to be. You don't want to be there if you want to be at Kinghurst Castle. Um, and that dog bit me. You know what? It's okay, because I'm going to take it out on your friend right here, okay? Yeah, you make me lose some blood, I'm going to I'm gonna kill your friend and get that blood back. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's a pretty long road. I believe this is probably the longest, like, route guy I've ever done here. And it gets a little confusing at this point, but you just want to cross through between this giant tombstone and then keep right here. And then just keep following this route here. And then once you see another tunnel opening, you want to go up here. And then you'll see this ladder, okay? And then this is like a freaking long ass ladder. And I don't know why this ladder is this long. But I think this is officially the longest ladder I have climbed in a FromSoft game. I never climbed anything this long before. <laughs> From Demon Soul to Dark Souls 2. I don't think there was a ladder this long. And to top it off, there is another ladder we have to go up to. Uh, but this is not as long as the other one. There. Actually. Yeah, it's not as long. I was going to be like, it might be as long as the other one. But it's not. It's around the same length. It's a little bit shorter. And we're back in Central Yarnum. Well, I don't know if it's essential yarn, but it's close to the clinic that you woke up from right in the beginning of the game. So yeah, by opening up the shortcut that we just pulled the lever for, uh, that's gonna take you to the like when you exit the clinic. But instead of going that way, we're gonna take the the, the other way. <laughs> oh my God, more ladders! This should just be a guy on how to climb ladders because this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. But yeah, instead of going through the front door, I don't think we can even go through the front door. We're gonna go around. And once you head in, uh, once you get into the clinic, you wanna take a right. Um, go through this door. Uh, there's some sort of alien activity in here. Some ET shit going on here. Unless that's low Esca? Esca? I don't exactly know how you pronounce your name. Man. I don't want to fuck it up and someone's going to start correcting me. Or someone's going to make fun of me. Because I know this is this is going to happen. If I keep fucking up the names. Alright. And, um... Yeah, after you picked up the King Her Summon. Uh, don't use any, uh, any of your fast travel things to go back to a lab. Because there is a lab that's just right around the corner right here. Yep, and once you head on back to the Hunter's Dream, the next area we're gonna go to is the Hemwick Chino Lane. And this is gonna be the point where a cutscene's gonna happen and then it's gonna allow us to go to Kinghurst Castle. And this is the this is the area. The Hemwick Chino Rain Lane Ring. And you just wanna keep left again. You just want to keep left. Uh, this guy surprised the crap out of me because he was never here before. <laughs> and then things change as the game goes, goes, um, goes on. So once you progress through the game even more, like some stuff change. So I was kind of surprised by that one. Uh, but yeah, and there's two executioner here. And once you get to this like tombstone looking thing, it seems gonna trigger. This is kind of creepy.
I don't know. Would you guys want to get into a carriage that just opens the door by itself? Because uh, I don't think I would want to. Unless, you know, of course, the two executioners are actually chasing my ass. Then, hell yeah, I'll get on this carriage. And here we are, Kanghurst Castle here. Yeah, and that's gonna wrap it up for this video guy here. So thank you all for watching, and I hope this video has been entertaining and helpful and enjoyable. And if you all found this video to be entertaining and helpful and enjoyable, then you know, stay tuned for the next one. But until next time, I will see you all later. Holmes, out.